Ottawa versus Oshawa! Kennedy Ryan from Ottawa, Kyle Lucy from Oshawa. On three, rock, paper, scissors, all right? One, two, three. Again, one, two, three. Ooh, okay, you wanna go first, you wanna go first? Uh, go first. All right, guys, Ottawa's gonna roast Oshawa. Make some noise, Kennedy Ryan! Thank you guys so much. I'm so excited to be here, roasting Oshawa, which I had to look up. Um, <laughs> it's great. Uh, visiting Oshawa, it's a really interesting feeling. It really just makes you wanna like take in every moment, you know, for when you're telling a group of nurses and police officers about it later. <laughs> Yeah, Oshawa has kind of like a weird vibe where you're like, I'm not sure if I'm in danger, but there's definitely something off. <laughs> it really is the Kyle Lucy of cities. <laughs> is it supposed to be like that or did something happen? <laughs> um, Oshawa is a conservative place, but it has a surprisingly progressive view on drugs. In fact, um, <laughs> Yeah, in fact, the entire city is technically classified as a safe injection site. In the 1980s, General Motors employed about 23,000 people in Oshawa, and now it's around 3,000. Um, I'll put it in terms Oshawans can understand. Uh, 20,000 jobs went out for a pack of cigarettes and never came back. <laughs> Luckily though, Kyle's family wasn't affected by the massive scale back because you can't be laid off from sucking dick for crack. <laughs> they have a really good union. Um, it's l less of a union and more of a group of prostitutes who gather behind the daycare center for a fight club, but still. <laughs> Um, all through Oshawa's history, there's been a divide between the wealthier north of Oshawa and the poorer south. Um, and it's interesting to see a city divided like that, you know? It's like depressed side story. <laughs> you know, it's like uh, Romeo and Juliet with all the statutory rape and none of the city infrastructure. <laughs> This is a pretty gruesome one, but it's true. Uh, last year, a pregnant teenager went missing and was later found murdered in Oshawa. And um, what's even worse, some people just have to grow up there. <laughs> um, the suspect in that case was charged with indecent interference with a body, or as Oshawans say, third base. <laughs> Uh, this is a fun fact. Canada Dry ginger ale was actually created in Oshawa, which makes a lot of sense, right? Because ginger ale goes so well with nausea. <laughs> um, Oshawa has this old slogan that's the city that motivates Canada. Um, calling Oshawa the city that motivates Canada is kind of like saying, Kyle walking behind you motivates jogging. <laughs> Uh, they say the city that motivates Canada because literal rock bottom was already taken. <laughs> they say the city that motivates Canada as if Canada has like a vision board up on its wall that's just filled with pictures of empty parking lots and intergenerational trauma. <laughs> um, in another very progressive move, Oshawa actually elected a former homeless person as their mayor. Um, and it was a pretty tight race. It came down between him and a set of used hot knives. <laughs> and I hate to even bring this up, but it technically won the popular vote. <laughs> but Otto, like Oshawa does have a reputation for being like a dirty, polluted city, but they've really, they've come a long way from that. The streets used to just be littered with empty whippet canisters and now everyone recycles. <laughs> really, the pollution in Oshawa is so bad that if Kyle hands you a drink that has even a single ice cube made of Oshawa water in it, you pass out, you wake up seven hours later completely naked behind a coffee time. <laughs> That's how polluted it is. That's at least what Kyle said happened. <laughs> why, why would he lie? <laughs> Oshawa is about one-sixth the size of Ottawa and has about one-twentieth the teeth. <laughs> Uh, despite the size difference, Oshawa and Ottawa have actually the same number of abortion clinics, uh, which is fair because Oshawans know an essential service when they see one. 
All right, I'll give you one more little fun fact and then I'll stop talking about Oshawa like everyone else. Um, <laughs> there's also a fake abortion clinic in Oshawa, um, which is interesting. It's one of those like pregnancy crisis centers, which is redundant because if you're pregnant in Oshawa, it's already a crisis. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much. Kennedy Ryan, everybody, repping Ottawa. Make some noise for Guy Lucy. Oshawa Roasting Ottawa. Hey, what's going on, guys? All right. All right, let's do it. It's a fucking uphill battle. I mean, come on. Uh, Ottawa is an Algonquin word, which means to trade. That makes sense that Kennedy's from there, because uh, we all know she's been passed around. Hey, come on. <laughs> You look like Eminem's wife. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why Ottawa is called Canada's capital. Ottawa is a capital like kids with Down syndrome are gifted. <laughs> Oshawa, we might be a meth city, but you're a meth city. Mike Fisher is from Ottawa. Married, uh, he's, uh, he's uh, from, uh, you know, uh, I don't watch hockey, but uh, the Ottawa Senators. He married Carrie Underwood. She lost 20 pounds since she had a kid. Good thing. Because only athletes that like fat white chicks are in the NBA. <laughs> that felt good to write. <laughs> Ottawa's Rideau Canal is the world's largest skating rink, and during its construction, 500 men died from malaria. If it makes you guys feel better, they were all French Canadian. <laughs> It's the only place in the country you could stand on someone's grave and enjoy a beaver tail. <laughs> Look, mommy. Look, I'm on someone's grave. I am not your mommy. I am a piss hooker. <laughs> the parliament buildings are in Ottawa. Everyone takes selfies in front of that place. Not because I like it. It's just the only building tall enough to jump off and kill yourself. <laughs> Now for Justin Peoplekind Trudeau. Our Prime Minister is trained in MMA and like most mixed martial artists, has no problem elbowing women in public. I remembered. Justin has a book out called Common Ground but how much he cries and show his tits, I'm surprised it's not called Daddy Issues, which is Kennedy's book. Ottawa is overly progressive. My cousin uh, went to high school in Ottawa and they tried this out for a year. They got every kid with Down syndrome to work in their breakfast club, make them help out. And uh, before anyone here has any preconceived notions, he went there every day and the food was amazing. In fact, it was so good, even the servers were drooling. <laughs> They're not like us, folks. They're not like us. I'm gonna end it right there, guys. That was fun. <laughs> Oshawa, ending it Oshawa style. <laughs> okay, guys, moment of truth. Make some noise if you liked Ottawa. Okay, all right, all right. Make some noise if you liked Oshawa. Oh, that was on purpose. <laughs> Ottawa wins, everybody. Ottawa wins. Kind of expected, not gonna lie. Oshawa never wins anything anyway. Um, all right, guys.